I have Epsol error code on my Sunbelt slash Elite Spa having refilled it 10 days ago and used it successfully last Friday 20th December. I've slackened off the pump connectors but only water escaped. If I press the jet switches they work and the last time I tried it a few minutes ago, the heater came on and the temp began to rise but shortly after pressing set, the error code reappeared and the heater went off. Anything else I can try before attempting to find a specialist? Thanks. Dennis Rigg Hello. My name Ice will do my best to answer your question and resolve your issue. Sol is an error for open pressure switch. I would check several things that may be causing this, make sure the water level is above all filters. Even with jets on high. Temporarily remove the filters, turn jets to high, then back to low. Heating now. Make sure pump 1 is flowing low and high speed. If your tub uses a small dedicated circulation pump and not a regular jet pump on low to filter slash heat then please let me know. Does the heat stay on with the pump high speed? Have you had this issue before or just since the refill? Standing by for an update if you still are having problems and have questions please reply and I will continue to help you troubleshoot and hopefully solve the heating problem. Thank you and Merry Christmas. Todd Hi, Todd. Thanks for this response. In answer to your points, the level of water in the spa is correct. I have removed the filters and when the pump is switched to high then back to low, after a minute or two where the heating and filter light remain illuminated, the error message reappears and the heating and filtration lights go out. Pump 1 is clearly not working on low, only high. What I'd like to know is what I can do to get it working on the low setting. The spa is only 3 years old and when I restarted it 10 days ago it worked perfectly, heating up to the correct temperature etc. When the pump is on high, the heater raises the temp by about 7 degrees, 19 to 26 today, and then no more. Dennis. Hello, first I am trying to determine what is under the hood in your tub. I have Balboa and Gecko equipment and manuals for Sunbelt slash Elite and the error code you give is usually for a ACC controls. Chevy, Ford, Honda for example. I would like to know if you power off slash on and do not touch any buttons what happens? Does the, the low speed come on at all? Run briefly. Or go into error immediately. Please explain everything the display shows immediately after and following the restart. You have an issue with the control system, pump motor, wiring to pump, or a sensor. The error could be a bad part or actually a situation that is shutting down for a good reason. Double check if any valves have partially closed, also. The error is related to a flow issue and shutting the low pump off. The vice versa. Remove the filter and restart the system and let me know what happens without touching anything. Does it heat and run at all even briefly? If not, does the heat light come on in high speed? You may just have a defective pressure switch. If you have changed any jumpers, programming, or unplugged and reconnected any equipment just prior to this please let me know. Standing by, Todd the Hot Tub Guy 41634.786317526. Hi, Todd. The control pack is a Smart Touch Digital 2000. The pumps are made by Balboa. If I switch off, when I switch the power on, the display shows 3.1 AC, then the temperature and then saw all in quick succession. The light for pump 1, 
called Jets 1 on the display panel, is on but there is no water being pumped in the spa. All valves are fully open. It does not heat and run at all. When this pump is switched to high, the heating light remains off. I haven't done anything listed in your final paragraph. Regards, Dennis. Good morning, thank you for the update I'll look up that system. I'm a little confused on your situation. Is the pump running and not flowing? Or is absolutely nothing happening? The pump light being on indicates the system has turned the pump on. But I'm unclear if it's running and not primed, running at all, humming and clicking off, etc. The pump light on indicates the pump should be running either you have an issue in the motor or in the control system. I need to know if the motor does anything. Runs but not flows, makes a humming noise for a few seconds and clicks off, or simply does nothing. It may be something as simple as a fuse I just need you to clarify for me if the pump motor does anything on restart. I'm confused whether it's just not primed, hums but won't start, or completely dead. Standing by. Well the schematics did not show any fuses for the pump so I went out to my shop and grabbed a dusty old ACC 2000 pack from the top shelf to get a look inside. No fuses. I am unclear if your pump is working and flowing in high speed. Is anything happening is low speed? Does the pump run, just not flow? Does it make a humming noise but not turn? Is low speed dead but high speed work? If the low speed is not working at all, flowing, humming, act, then you have a bad control system, board, wiring from board to pump, or a bad pump motor. You will need a test meter to check output voltages at pump 1 off the board and at the receptacle where the pump plugs into the side of the box. If this is in your comfort zone let me know and I will instruct you how to test. I would also recommend restarting the system after unplugging the pressure switch from the circuit board and see if low speed starts up when repowering the breaker. Just unplug it from the circuit board. It looks like the pick below. Follow the wire to the board and just unplug it and restart the system. Let's see if you get a different error or if the pump starts. Beyond that we have to test power with a meter. This is what the pressure switch will look like, or very similar, it is inside the control box screwed into the metal heater tube. Standing by, Todd. Hi, Todd. The pump works fine at high speed, but does nothing at low speed. The spindle between the wet and dry ends of the pump is not turning at all on low. I've now switched over pumps 1 and 2 so that the heater will work on low, which it's doing at the moment. This shows that it's a pump problem not the heater or control box, I guess. For now, I'll use pump 2 on high only which isn't a problem in the short term. Are these pumps repairable or is replacement the only option? Regards, Dennis. Hello, did you physically swap pump 1 and 2 for each other? So, you are using what was pump 2 in the pump place and vice versa. If pump 2 is 2 speed and you did, that is a solution. Pump 2 is often only single speed so that will work in your case if that is what you did. If the shaft seals are good and that is what you did just remove the low speed wire from the new pump 2, old pump 1 from the circuit board and use it. That is a fine inexpensive solution I often do when it is an option to spending $300 on another pump. Pump 2 is rarely used in low speed anyway. Good job. Repairing may be an option but hard to say without it being on my bench. If it working now I would save my money and enjoy it. 
If I am misunderstanding you, please let me know. I have to leave very soon but I will be back later to check. Have a great day. Todd the Hot Tub Guy 41636.7203019907 If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.